What is going on, my fitness junkies? Welcome to the Elevate Everyday podcast. We're coming into a new year. So we're talking about how to transform in 2024. And this is the third time I'm recording this podcast because I want to get this guy, I want to get this right for you guys. Okay. I want this to be transformative for you. And I want you to be able to plan correctly for, for 2024 and set yourself up for success. So these last two years for me have been two years of massive growth. Guys, I've started my own fitness business, started and grown it, um, gotten in the best shape of my life. Um, I've started this podcast. I've met a lot of new people with like-minded interest, and this podcast was a big part of that. Um, I've stopped drinking alcohol completely in the last year. Um, And I'm just in a very good mental and emotional place. But this isn't about me. I want you to level up in 2024. But the truth is, you have limiting beliefs or habits that are holding you back. We all do. I still do, right? I definitely still do. It's a lifelong journey, okay? But the first step to transformation is to do a life audit. You can literally, you can Google life audit and and there's like worksheets that you can do, but just evaluate every aspect of your life. All right, then come up with, you know, once you do a life audit, once you look at every different area of your life, then come up with your core values and goals for the year and then compare the two. Case, you know, create a clear vision of where you want to be, you know, evaluate exactly where you're at now and then compare those two and see where there's holes, compare and contrast and see, you know, what you need to do this year to get to where you want to be. All right, I would strongly consider creating a vision board, you know, actually come up with images of things that inspire you. I've got one right here. I actually did this this year. So I've got pictures of people that inspire me that have characteristics um, that I aspire to be like right here. So I've got that. I've got, you know, pictures of houses, you know, things that inspire me of things that I want to have places I want to travel. I've got an old picture of me of what I used to look like. And then a picture of me now to kind of see my transformation that that alone inspires me of how far I've come um, and kind of thinking about where I could still get to physically. So I'd strongly consider doing this for yourself. Um, to, to create that clear picture and that clear vision for yourself. But then figure out all the areas in which you may need to limit or remove habits, even associations or limiting patterns. You know, maybe you need to spend less time with certain people or remove certain habits or limiting patterns. Like for me, you know, I, I like I said, I completely cut out alcohol this year. Um, and it's allowed me to be productive on the weekends, not have hangovers and just like, it's, it's allowed me to add in new habits. Like a lot, I'm recording this on the weekend. I probably wouldn't be in the mood to do this if I was hung over. Right. So there's probably certain things you want to remove. Cause like I've talked about before, you know, discipline a lot of times is more about removal than it is just adding things in. Cause you can't just keep adding and adding and adding habits. You've got to make room right? You can't just keep stacking habits. There's not enough room for it. So you have to remove certain habits that are holding you back. And that's going to make room for the new habits or new associations or new things that are going to serve you this year. So once you do all that, then you need to get granular, right? Once you've kind of evaluated your life and you've come up with this core values, clear vision of where you want to be, get very granular on the specific goals that you want to accomplish this year. They have to be measurable, right? They have to be things that you can measure. These goals, they can't just be, I want to get in shape, right? They have to be like, I need, I want to lose this amount of weight by this time period. So they need to get, you need to get granular with it. You have to be able to measure it. They need to be lofty, right? You want to push yourself, right? You don't, one of the most disappointing things is like, is setting a goal and you accomplish it and you realize I could have done a lot more, right? So I, I'm actually probably going to come up short from the goals that I set out for myself in 2023, right? I'm going to come a little bit short, but that's good. That, that means that I pushed myself. That means that I grew this year. That means that I like 
I set the bar high, right? You don't want to set the bar too low. You want to push yourself. So set measurable and lofty goals that are going to actually push you to grow. So once you do that, then you want to reverse engineer these goals for the whole year. So you want to create quarterly, monthly, weekly, and even daily goals. All right. And it can start from day one, like, you know, January one, you can create, what do I need to do on day one to get started towards these goals? So on day one, I would say like, create a daily goal, create a weekly goal for that week and create a monthly goal for the first month of January, create a quarterly goal for the first 90 days. And if you do that, you're going to get farther than 99% of the population that sets new year's resolutions. Cause most people don't even get past month one. All right, so create those quarterly goals and then make that a habit. That that can be one of your new habits that you need to make room for is goal setting. And it's not just a yearly thing. It's not just every year I make New Year's resolutions. It needs to be a literal daily. I do daily to-do lists. I do weekly goals. I do monthly goals. I do quarterly goals. I've got these different whiteboards in my apartment. And it's something that you have to make a habit of is goal setting on a much more regular basis. It's not just about having that goal in the future. It's about what do I need to do to get there? So you need to start getting a clear idea of the tasks that it's going to take to get to that long-term goal. And you need, you need a routine that builds your mind, right? You need a routine that builds your mind, your body, your career, and your relationships. Right, You need to create a daily routine that builds your mind, builds your body, builds your career, and builds your relationships. Make goals and optimize your routine for these different areas. All right, it's, it's mid-December when I'm recording this for the third time, <laughs> but I plan to sit down and really reflect on 2023 and see what areas I can improve this year and do all the things that I'm talking about in this video to game plan for a monster 2024. All right. And it's cliche, but it's cliche for a reason, but failing to plan is planning to fail. So create a very clear vision of where you want to get to this year and manifest it in 2024. All right, if this was helpful for you or inspirational, then please like the damn video. Please subscribe to be a part of the fitness junkie movement this year and make 2024 a year of massive growth and massive self-mastery. I'll see you guys in the next video. And in the meantime, elevate every damn day. Love you guys. Peace.